when the when the crisis hit the economic crisis hit in 2008 and 2009 uh, austerity programs targeted public sector employment and so 700,000 workers lost their jobs in in from 2008 to 2010 during that time period um, the the 700,000 jobs that were lost 40% of them were lost by african americans even though they are about 19% of the population, 40% of the job loss were African Americans. And so there's a high degree of poverty. Under um, COVID-19 with the coronavirus, what we've seen is that the, the, um, the lowest paid workers lost their jobs for service, the people who work in restaurants, service economy, et cetera. So, so suddenly people lost their jobs as the economy shut down. Um, and a lot of that was felt by, um, by people of color more than any other grouping. Um, in addition, though, the people who were forced to work because they were considered essential employees, those who work in grocery stores, those who work in um, the, the meat manufacturing plants, those who were told you have to go to work even if it's not safe, were people of color primarily. Um, a lot of other folks were able to work from home, but the people who had to go and risk their life are people of color. Um, the death rate, um, so we have had over 100,000 deaths by COVID-19 in the United States, and um, it has disproportionately affected African Americans and other people of color compared to their population. Part of that is because of the health situations, because of capitalism, right? The access to proper health. And so, so you see the, the long-term impacts of capitalism. You see the short-term impacts of capitalism with the austerity programs that took place. And then you see the health impacts of generations of not having, we don't have a public health system here. Um, you have to have a job to have quality health care. You have to have a good paying job to have quality health care. And so, so vast numbers of the population don't have that. And, and it's under those conditions that um, on top of that, you have the, the, on top of that poverty and inequity that exists caused by capitalism, we have the repression against, um, by the police force, which the police force in the United States started um, under slavery and was, uh, was formed to um, capture escaped slaves. And that is the historic role that they've played. And they, um, as capitalism developed, they are there to protect the capitalist system. And so there's always been a level of white supremacy and racism within the police force within the system. So that, that's the context that we're in that led to this uprising.